Hello, I am Trisha DeWinter and I'm happy to be the librarian at the Oak Ridge School. And I wanna share some of our wonderful books with you and tell you some of my favorites, but more importantly, some of our students' favorites, because that's how we determine which books to order. We listen to our students and they tell us what they like and they ask me what to order and I read a lot of them, they read a lot of them, but we do have a lot of bibliophiles here and that's a great thing. The books that I'll be showing you are available on our ebook pl platform too, but you can find them at the public library. The libraries in this area are fantastic, so you should be able to get them at the Arlington Public Library, Fort Worth Library, Barnes & Noble, Half Price Books, Amazon. So I hope you come to the Oak Ridge School, but if you don't, know that you can find these books many places. This is a book, how could you not want to read this book? I saw this title, Bruno the Standing Cat, and I had to read it, and I loved it, loved it, loved it. There's never been a cat like Bruno. So this is one of our easy fiction books, everybody fiction books, and it's fun, funny, but I have to say I like this book even more because this is one of the best authors in the world, Mo Willem. So if you really like funny books, you can come to our library and we have a whole basket of these. And this one's called, I Really Like Slop. I don't really like slop, but the book is funny, 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 funny. This is a great book. It's checked out all the time. So if you like a book that's kind of a mystery, is it a duck or is it a rabbit and you want to decide and vote, that's the book for you. It's so good. I just discovered this book over the summer, Shark Dog. And I thought, how could I not want to read that book? It's a great, funny fiction book lots of wonderful illustrations so if you like funny that's really my favorite then i think that you would like this one very very much and we leave all of these great books out on display so you can find them really fast this author came to our school recently and he was hilarious aaron reynolds won the caldecott medal for his book creepy carrots i like creepy underwear better that's his other book but our copies of that are checked out, but this one's really, really good. Creepy Carrots is is very good, but Creepy Underwear, you just cannot, cannot beat it. But a lot of our best books are checked out, and that's, that's probably a good thing. And so we have a lot of great fact books, too, nonfiction. There's going to be a movie about this. This is a horse that could add and subtract, and he could spell. I know you don't believe me, I don't even believe me, but it's nonfiction and at the end of the book, it talks about the horse and you're, there's pictures and it's given, all this information is given to you about the contest and the way that this man trained. This is another great fact book. So this guy could not hear William Hoy. He was a baseball player, but he started playing baseball and because of him, first everyone made fun of him, but then he started trying to use hand signals. Guess what? He's the reason we use hand signals now in baseball. I wonder if you know any of them. They use them all the time, thanks to him, fact. Love this book. This guy really did it. It won the Caldecott Medal too. This is called The Man Who Walked Between the Towers and he really did it. He really walked between the Twin Towers on a trapeze. And I have another book where another guy did it over Niagara Falls. And I, it shows in the book that he was even like sitting in a chair on there and doing flips. I don't believe it either. But these are nonfiction books that people say are absolutely, absolutely true. You have to read it and see what you think. So those are a few nonfiction books. Now, if you're just starting to read chapter books, you would love these. And we have many, many more. We have every good book that you could want in this library, we do. And if we don't have it, which I doubt, but if we don't have it, you can tell me and I'll order it because we have to have every good book in this library. These are some of my favorite books ever. We have our books organized by genre. That means our best realistic fiction books are all in one place. And this book makes me happy cry. It is beautiful, wonderful, perfect. It's a perfect book, Ramey Nightingale. It's perfect. 
So you have to read that sometime. We have sports, all kinds of sports books. We have fiction sports books, nonfiction sports books, you name it because sports are really popular with many of our readers. So we have those in a separate area. We also have our historical fiction in an area, and this is a great book, The War That Saved My Life. You'd love it. Everyone loves it. I, sometimes that just happens. Of course we have the other books like Harry Potter and The Lightning Thief, but I know you know about those already. This author came to our school, and these are great books. Lemon Cello's All-Star Breakout Game. Chris Grabenstein writes with James Patterson and he came to our school and he was so fun and nice. And this author came to our school. So this is going to be in the area of adventure or mystery. That's where we keep this book, this type of book. And this is a trilogy, there's three of them, but James Ponty came to our school and he is so, so, so nice. And this book's awesome. Everyone really, really enjoyed reading this one. This guy even came to our school, Gordon Corman. He's pretty huge. We get the best authors. Gordon Corman does funny books. His best book, I think, is Restart. But this is a series, and I like this one too. But he was at our school a year before last, and who knows who will get this year, but they'll be great. So popular, graphic novels. We had Nathan Hale come, he does Hazardous Tales, and he made me laugh so hard I was crying. But this author is very popular too. This is the book Smile, and Raina Telgemeier does many, many, many books, graphic novel, and those are so popular at this library. So we check out a lot of graphic novels and we're always ordering graphic novels. So this is teen. We also have a lot of young adult. I just finished this book. I loved this book. This book made me happy cry too. More than we can tell. I just recommend it so, 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 so much. It was a beautiful book. This book, the boys in the high school last year were coming in. Where is it? Where is it? So I'd say, well, Matthew has it. So after Matthew was done, he would pass it on to Jack. This is a trilogy by one of my favorite teen authors, Neil Schusterman, and it's great. It's great for if you like fantasy. This is great if you like realistic fiction. But we have every kind of book and we love to put the books out on display and for you to find the perfect book. I love to hear about what you like to read. I read all the time because reading is the best thing you can do for your brain. It exercises your brain like nothing else can ever, ever do. So come to the Oak Ridge Library and get some books.